They have been spending a great deal of time and look at this they're back on that carcass feeding again so there is more than just the one the rest of the flock is seems to be a lot more skittish than this individual but look they're still hammering away at this carcass and i'm surprised i would have thought they would have left it and moved on but they are still going at it and still feeding off it which is quite amazing i'm super surprised by all of this and so i did a bit of research yesterday and spoke to a few people about it and wanted to just check and understand a little bit more about this now basically what's happening is we are going into our breed or the breeding season for these hornbills as i was talking about yesterday and what's happened is that at this time the alpha pair within the flock becomes highly territorial and so what it looks like is it looks like a, a young male so the bird itself we I sexed it as a, as a young male and it looks like a young about five years old so that would be about the age that they start moving potentially to try and find a flock of their own to be able to breed with and so what it looks like is this bird has come and has joined or well, come into an area where it shouldn't be and the alpha pairs then attacked it and killed it now the eating of it apparently they often see females eating and cannibalizing their young ones that have died so it, it is possible that they eat it but it's highly unusual that they're killing and eating an intruder that's where it is very strange and very weird and so i'm parked very far away at the moment because what i'm trying to i don't want to chase them off i just want to see how long they feed and if the rest start to come back it, it is an insane thing to have witnessed this and the guys that i spoke to and all the researchers they were quite excited about it all and and really also a little bit puzzled by the behavior so it is an incredible thing you can see there it actually is feeding off bits of it so i don't really know why they've come back i would have thought they would have left it but they are definitely proving a point so, uh, laura it, most of it is pecking but they are eating as well you'll see every now and then they throw a little piece up into the air and they kind of consume it so they are still feeding off it but most of it is pecking i think a lot of it is a display as they are asserting themselves as the dominant pair in this particular section and that calling that we heard earlier was to probably i mean yesterday was to try and contact the rest as well as to make sure that they are in full territorial mode that this is our area and it's much like there you go you can see it feeding there when it opens its beak and throws its head up that's when it's actually pecking off bits of meat and eating it so it is an incredible sight to see and I, yeah, I am flabbergasted that they are still here and come, have come back. That is the crazy thing. Like, it's one thing to kill a bird and eat a bit of it and then move off. But the fact that they've come back again the next morning and they're kind of finishing the job is really quite something. So it is an incredible display from these guys. And I'm sure it's sending a very strong message to even those that are within the flock not to challenge them, as this is what will happen if you do. So it's all a territorial thing it's much the same as male lions coming in and killing cubs or male lions killing in young intruders that come in this is the exact same story just in the ground hornbill world and it's not very well documented at all there is no kind of videos about it that i could find it's just hearsay and, and a few carcasses that have been found here and there of birds killing but actually not consuming and i want to know how much they've consumed so i'm going to leave them to feed for a while you can see it's just getting rid of a bit of meat off the beak there so i want to see them leave them to consume it and and to try and kind of have their fill during the morning and i'll come back later in the morning to try and see how much is left of that carcass unfortunately still no sign of that leopard that we saw on foot i, I can't find it i don't know where it ran to so i will go back i'm just going to give the area a bit of a break so that maybe that individual just calms down and i can then kind of find it in amongst those thickets again i'm sure wherever it is it's it's scared of if after seeing me if it's especially a young male it might have just run into a thicket and is now just sitting and watching but at, the interesting thing about that individual is i must have walked past it three or four times because i was walking up and down and it only when i was actually following its tracks going straight towards it did it actually run prior to that it was fairly relaxed and fairly chilled and didn't really worry too much about us at all so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to go to twin dams and then i'll come back slowly and then i might go try and go down a little bit that we can get a bit closer to those ground hornbills because from here it really is very far of us seeing what's going on nicely is not great so i want to try and reposition ourselves a little bit and see if the rest of the flock also comes back because as i arrived i saw two disappear around the corner and just this one that stays and it's exactly like what we saw yesterday with these birds is that the rest of the flock seems to be a lot more sort of nervous 
than what this individual is that we see there. <laughs> so Maggie, we, you're asking, should we call this hornbill Hannibal Hector? Well, it would be nice, except that this hornbill that we're seeing feeding there is a girl, so we can't call her Hannibal Hector. We'll have to come up with another name for her. Hannibal Hillary, maybe Lou, I'm not sure. Let's, what about uh, Hannibal Helga? Hannibal Helga the Hornbill, that sounds better. Hannibal Helga, there we go. So our new name for our alpha female of our Hornbill flock is Hannibal Helga. So there we go. Hannibal Helga is now consuming one of her own at a rate of knots at this stage. And I'm very surprised hyenas didn't go down there with the smell of that tortoise in the air and two carcasses quite close. I would have thought hyenas would have gone there, particularly because there's hyena tracks on the road here, exactly where I drove yesterday. So they are on top of my tracks so it's surprising to me that they haven't um, went and gone and scavenged that and fed off it but maybe they did and they just didn't like the taste of it and moved off but that would be surprising for hyenas because they eat anything and everything so I would be very surprised if they were like that right so let's see what's lurking at Tundams before I go back to our hornbills and try and get a closer view of what's happening there now, oh, my comms seem to be playing up again. I know that I'm going to have to link at some point, but because the delay is so long, I suppose I can fiddle until I hear Lou again, which will hopefully be sometime very soon. No, apparently my comms don't want to work at all. Senzo, you're going to have to tell me what's going on. There we go. Ah, welcome back, Lou. So, right, let's go across. I'm not sure who you're going to, if it's Taylor or Jamie, but either way, I'm sure they'll be happy to see you. Beautiful view we've... Well, whoever we went to didn't actually have reception as well, and so with, between my comms and their reception, it's going to be a fine morning. But welcome back anyway, we still have twin dams, just checking around, seeing if there is any sign of anything here. At the moment, nothing. I'm pretty sure our leopards are where... I think our leopards are where I left them. I'm sure that's where Tandy and Tumbo are. The tracks look just like the two of them, so I'm sure that's where they're hanging out. I don't think they're on this side of the world. I'll check just to make sure in case, but I'm pretty sure they've gone up. Now, for those of you wondering how Hosanna is doing after the Tumba Hosanna incident, well, Hosanna is just fine. Apparently, he was seen yesterday on Little Gari around Treehouse Dam, their Treehouse Dam, and he was perfect. No signs of scratches or scars, no limping, no anything. So it seems as though the two ended it amicably and there was no sign of any injuries between them which is fantastic news so Hosanna was that side of the world no updates yet on our mating pair from yesterday I think they still MIA at the moment Michael you're asking if I would be able to see Tundi's limp in her tracks uh, yes and no it depends on how she was moving so I, I was watching her the other afternoon when we were following her when she was focused on something she was walking almost perfectly and there would have been no, no discernible difference in her tracks um, but when she's kind of just ambling and, and taking it easy huh? there you see leopards well done there is a leopard Senzo you look at the tail just through it Yay! <laughs> and Senzo says he can see more than one, so there is two here, in fact. That is correct. So they were where we thought they were. Now, who are you? It looks like our mating pair. Is it our mating pair? It looks like them. It does look like Kuchava and Tingana. So that's who seems to be here. Now, this is very interesting. This is not the same tracks of the leopards I saw earlier. Is that Kuchava? Yes, it is Kuchava. So it's Kuchava and Tingana again, the mating leopards, which is fantastic news. And like I say, the the tracks that I had earlier is not for these two. The tracks I had earlier is for Tundi and Tumba, I'm sure of it. But this is definitely our mating pair. How cool is this, guys, that they're on Juma and Mobile North? So we're not even going to lose them. We're going to have them all to ourselves because everybody else is tracking lions up in the north. So Kuchava makes her debut on Juma. This is the first time that they're from yesterday. I think they... Well, whoever we went to didn't actually have reception as well, and so with, between my comms and their reception, it's going to be a fine morning. 
but welcome back anyway we still have twin dams just checking around seeing if there's any sign of anything here at the moment nothing I'm pretty sure our leopards are where I think our leopards are where I left them I'm sure that's where Tandy and Tamba are the tracks look just like the two of them so I'm sure that's where they're hanging out I don't think they're on this side of the world I'll check just to make sure in case but I'm pretty sure they've gone up now for those of you wondering how Hosanna is doing after the Tumba Hosanna incident well Hosanna is just fine apparently he was seen yesterday on Little Gauri around Treehouse Dam there Treehouse Dam and he was perfect no signs of scratches or scars no limping no anything so it seems as though the two ended it amicably and there was no sign of any injuries between them which is fantastic news so Hosanna was that side of the world no updates yet on our mating pair from yesterday I think they still MIA at the moment Michael you're asking if I would be able to see Tundi's limp in her tracks uh, yes and no it depends on how she was moving so I, I was watching her the other afternoon when we were following her when she was focused on something she was walking almost perfectly and there would have been no, no discernible difference in her tracks um, but when she's kind of just ambling and, and taking it easy huh? there you see leopards well done there is a leopard